Um, most of you, I think, have definitely seen this video going around on social. It's pretty crazy, man. So um, it looks like, according to what I've been reading online, there was some sort of noise complaint going on with some neighbours in New York or something. And this latest caption says the follows, um, a manhunt after a shooting, his neighbor and his stepson to death over a noise dispute in Brooklyn. Police operatives in the US are currently on a manhunt for a 47 year old man called Jason Pass, who shot and killed a father and a stepson in Brooklyn apartment. So some sort of noise complaint happened between two neighbors in an apartment block that then resulted in somebody getting, sh in the, the dad and the son getting shot. And it's pretty tragic, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna play the video because it's quite gruesome, but I'm gonna skip around it a bit. But the funny thing about it is that there's a bit where the dad in the doorway over here comes out on some like bully boy thing, right? Because he's quite jacked. And it made me think in general, like dudes at this point should know. I think most guys are aware that muscles don't count for shit these days. I think with combat sports and all this kind of, you know, becoming very, very popular over the last few years, especially stuff like MMA and whatnot. I think most guys are aware that even if you get really jacked, it doesn't mean you can fight. It doesn't mean you could do anything. And it also doesn't mean that you're going to be able to withstand bullets and shit. So I'm surprised that this guy, especially living in New York, would be on that kind of time. Because you'd imagine in that part of Brooklyn where they're from, maybe, you know, from like a maybe rough area, you'd assume they're used to this type of level of violence. This is not out of the question. This is not out of the blue. This probably happens quite often. There's probably been a lot of shooters in that area anyway. So for the dad to be so reckless like that, and put his entire family in danger by like being on some bully boy thing, coming out with his top off and shit and wanting to start a fight and then getting his son, his stepson and himself murked is really sad. You know, that's a sad thing because he comes out with his chest up right in the man's face. And if I'm not mistaken, he also came out with some scissors. I think he had scissors in his hand, right? Poking it in the guy's face. And if you watch the whole video, you'll see to me anyway. And again, I don't know if you guys are the same, but, um, I grew up in a rough area of London and I still live in a pretty rough one. And what one thing you kind of get to, one, one of the benefits of living in a rough area is that you become a little bit like, you have, you have street smarts, but you're able to kind of read situations. You're able to kind of deduce what's going to happen before it already happens. And often, more often than not, when there's, meant to, when there's going to be a violent altercation or something really crazy, you can kind of tell. So when I watched this video, even though I knew the outcome, there were loads of little things that the guy who had a gun was doing that would let me know that this guy has a strap, you know? So I think the dad should have been a little bit more aware of it. Whether or not you pull out your own strap or get something else, I think he should have been aware what time that guy with the shirt was on because he was twitching. He was ready to pull it out. He was give, He was basically waiting for any kind of provocation to take the guy out. Like, that's the time that he was on. It was a bit dark. It's a bit crazy. But the guy in the shirt definitely wanted to fire that gun. He was looking like it. He wasn't what he didn't want to leave. The guy walked in. He could have walked downstairs. He could have already left. He could have he could have done anything to just de-escalate it, but he didn't want to. He was standing there waiting for an excuse to pull out his strap and start and start fucking shooting. And I'm surprised that this guy in the white shirt didn't read that. I'm surprised he thought this guy was on some sort of like swinging thing. We're gonna punch it out. He wasn't on that time. And he was looking for any excuse. And when he got the excuse, he took the guy out. Now, for me personally, even though that's the case, I think the guy with the shirt is in trouble because even though the guy comes out with the scissors and he's obviously being intimidating and stepping into his personal space, he does turn away. You know, he does turn away. And it looks like the guy shoots the guy in, I would say, cold blood and the kid as well, who was trying to run out the way as well. So it's kind of looking a bit crazy. It's looking like it's, it's looking premeditated in that regard. It's not looking like he was defending himself because his life didn't look like it was in danger. All the women in the house were trying to pull this guy back. The son was trying to run out the way. Like, it's looking a little bit menacing. It's looking a little bit dark, to be fair. But like I said, I just don't understand why the guy here in the white shirt wasn't able to read from the minute zero, from the start of this altercation, it was very clear to me, the guy in a shirt wanted to pull out his gun. He kept twitching, he kept moving himself, he kept puffing up his chest and shit. He was waiting for a provocation. So I think as tragic as, as like even there, he's fiddling around with his fucking belt. As tragic as it was, I think the guy in the white shirt should be really sad that, you know, he didn't really, he didn't clock it soon enough because unfortunately now, you know, the family has lost a dad and a stepson because of their 
un- inability to kind of calm things down and not be too crazy. And again, like the whole video is kind of crazy to watch. Um, I don't recommend you checking it out to be completely honest, but it's kind of crazy. Um, what are you saying here in a stream chat? I am Sin saying, I'm from New York. We live next door to these killers and we are parked on top of each other. Um, these people don't have time to deal with emotional issues because you're working 23 hours a pay. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm sure that's the case. I, I, don't, I don't deny that. I am Sin. I really don't deny that. And it's not justified at all. I'm just sad because I feel like it was very obvious where this was going. It was very clear that this was going to end in some sort of physical altercation. But it was also very clear to me that the guy here with the jacket, with a shirt, wanted to pull out his gun. He really wanted to pull out his gun. Like, there's altercations happen here in London all the time where a guy will get his first knife, will get his first bat, and they just, they walk around with a certain level. Again, if you grew up in the hood, you know what, what I'm talking about. Like, you know that guy that gets his first weapon or whatever and walks around with a certain level of bravado just looking for somebody to piss him off and usually if you're from the hood you just keep out of that person's way because they're on a bit of a war path they're on a bit of a they're on a crash out kid thing they want to crash out they want to just take everybody with them so you keep out of their way so i'm very surprised that this man who looks kind of mature wasn't able to deduce that and clock that you know that's the issue and as odd as it may sound luckily only two people passed away because this guy could have taken out everybody if he wanted to. He was the only one there with a gun. He was clearly on some devilish time. He could have took out the entire family if he wanted to. The fact that he didn't is a miracle in itself, which is crazy to say. But still, it's fucking tragic to see, bro, because they all got slumped out like very, very quickly. Um, if it's in New York, he might be in trouble. Yeah, for sure. And plus, you don't know what he's saying. And if I'm not mistaken, didn't the gun have like a laser on it or something, like a beam? If I saw the whole video, I think the, the gun had a fucking, like a laser on it or some shit, like some Call of Duty thing. This guy was on some mad vibes, man. He was not, he really wanted any provocation to fucking buck out his fucking gun. Luckily, there's no sound in the video, I don't think so, but Jesus Christ us, bro. He was really on some mad vibes. But yeah, like, don't bring scissors to a gunfight. That's not one other thing you have to kind of learn. Never bring scissors to a fucking gunfight because that was a very uneven contest. And unfortunately, it did not end well for the man. Then. It really did not. Yeah, because I think he turns away, right? He turns away around here and then the guy pulls out his gun as he's walking away. I don't think, you could do, I don't think that's going to work well in court, to be fair. The guy might be in trouble. He pulls out his strap and then, yeah, from here, he just starts pointing and shooting. Fucking crazy, bro fucking crazy like and the, the really chilling part is at the end the end bit is a chilling part where he just presses the button for the fucking lift and waits for it to like he waits for the lift he doesn't even walk down the stairs <laughs> honestly this guy's a fucking psycho he he walks over i think one of the bodies or something and presses the lift he checks on the body he presses the lift waits for it gets his no not lift sorry not the lift he gets into his apartment no it's not a lift it's an apartment i've I beg to differ. It's an apartment. Um, he walks into his apartment and just closes the door. He doesn't even walk down the stairs and run away. Like, absolute psychopath, man. Like, wow. Um, what are you guys saying? Everyone at NC has not got a gun. I can, I can get one today if I made a call. In- oh, really? I didn't know that. Don't you have really strict gun laws, though, there in New York? Shit. Don't you, isn't it, don't you have, like, crazy gun laws that if you get caught with a gun that's not registered, you can get automatic, like, five years or some shit? That's what they say about rappers. Rappers should never go to New York with guns and shit because the laws are really crazy. I, I didn't know that that easy to get. Jesus Christos. The guy in the white shirt had something in his hand though, says Patrick Emerson. Yeah, he had, I think he had some scissors from what I could tell from the other video I watched. He didn't make the cut. Logos can't tell fucking evil. Cops killed him already. Really? Is that true? They killed him already. And his girl has to take the son, some of the blame. Yeah, so again, I'm not sure what the argument stems from, but I think it was something along the lines of some sort of noise complaint. Um, the, it looks like he, he was the, the girl was arguing and the guy steps in. Who knows what the issue was? I don't want to attribute any blame until we know the actual details. But it's, again, I just unfortunate the guy in the white shirt couldn't clock that this guy wanted an excuse to pull out his gun. He should have just de-escalated it and went back inside. Or if he wanted to be on the gun time too, buck out your gun. But he should have never have come outside on some bully boy thing holding scissors because this man wanted to crash out. He was on that sort of time and it's unfortunate the way it ended. Hopefully... Um, they get reprimanded and people get their justice that needs to be done but fucking hell boy 
Like the end of it is so chilling because you see how quickly people's lives can change. Like both guys get absolutely taken out in an absolute second. And I feel most sad for the son because I don't know why he came out, to be honest, but he comes out to try and help and try and run away. And then he ends up getting taken out also. But I feel so bad for the kid. The kid gets taken out. He's lying on the side of the floor. The dad's the dad's head like lumped, slumped at the front of the fucking door of the entrance of his house. And the guy just walks into his apartment and closes the door like nothing happened fucking spooky 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 shit bro so yeah um r.i.p to those involved and hopefully people get the justice that's needed but yeah another uh, evidence that you know people just need to leave people alone that's the main thing can we get to a world where people just leave people alone is that possible can we just leave each other alone because you never know what time people are on man some people just are on some magic because it kind of reminded me of that video was it was it in alaska or somewhere really cold with snow where this um, couple gets into an argument with their neighbor across the road about, I guess, what you call it, clearing the snow on the road, whatever, some neighborly dispute. And the guy just pulls out a gun and just takes out everybody. And I think he ends up shooting himself as well. He shoots the people, the, the neighbors, like he shoots the woman like millions of times, goes back and shoots her again on the floor. Like it's fucking crazy, bro. And it's just like some minor neighborly dispute. But I think most of the time, those things can be eliminated if you just leave people alone, personally. Because, you know, no one's got... Not everybody's got the time and day to kind of be patient with people. That, that's the main crux of it. Anyway,